This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Philippines Uncut. I'm your host, Buddy Kunana. Now, on this show, we talk about everything under the sun, and tonight is about sports once again. You know, the summer heat is on, and we're going to talk about karate do, which is an excellent sport for the entire family to get into. And joining me is the lead, uh, the senior instructor of the, the Association for the Advancement of Karate do, Mr. Chino Vigilias. Hi. Chino, welcome to Philippines Uncut. Good evening, Buddy. A pleasure to have you here, and uh, it's nice because, you know, I did a show. A few weeks ago with your brother, yes. Ricky, yeah. and they were an excellent show about how AAK, the, so the, 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 the group that you're with, is helping uh, to teach kids karate in, uh, in, in, a, in a partnership with a school here called uh, Dance, yeah, Dance Theater, Theater Arts. Arts. Yeah. So, so this is like a continuation of, of that conversation. I told uh, your brother that uh, you know, karate is one whole episode by itself because there's so much to talk about. No? Ganito, Chino, let's start about talking about uh, you. Who is Chino Vigilias? Well, I, I, <laughs> I'm a karate instructor. Uh, I, I teach in different schools. I teach kids the, the, the true value or the true meaning of karate, which is not just, not just a martial art. It's not just a sport, not just a martial art. It's what we, we always call it. It's a way of life. It's how you use it in your everyday life. So basically, that's what I do. And this I've is full time. You you do this full time. Yes, I do this full time, and uh, and I also I also get the parang the masarap na feeling that you're you're imparting these values to the kids. Absolutely. Now now Chino, your family is very involved in karate. Yes. No? Kar karate or karate do. Karate do. Ka uh, karate and karate do are the same. Okay. Uh, the do me is, uh, means the way. Uh, okay. So if it's karate do, it's the way of the empty hand. So meaning. Uh, I come to you, empty hand, no weapons, pure spirit. I have no bad intention, 
if I just have to defend myself, I'll defend myself. So nice. basically, that's what's, what it means. Nice. Now, um, your family's been involved in this for a long time, yes. starting by, I mean, with your father, yes. Mr. Pacholo Vigilias, yes. who, who, who I understand started the AAK. He started AAK in 1964, but he started karate when he was like, I think, in his high school or when he, he started in judo. He started in judo, and then a Japanese master came here by the name of Takayuki Mikami. And he came here to, to he wanted to propagate karate because it started falang in Japan to they they uh, they they started it in the schools and so they wanted to propagate it to the other to other countries and they went here and they looked for students to teach and he he volunteered to learn from him and then that's history na tuloy tuloy na and uh, AAK has been around for how many years right uh, since 1964 so around oh. 42 years 43 wow, years amazing uh, 50 NS 50 sorry 52 is, years. is is it it's not the NSA no for karate no 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 it's different it's an association uh, solely we just want to develop from the kids up mm. so mm. talagang yan yan it's a uh, it's different from the NSA are there many are, are there other members of your family involved aside from your brother your well mother? my sister my sister used to be back-to-back uh, -back SEA Games gold medalist also, like wow. my brother. in karate? Yeah. <laughs> Ako lang yung isang beses na nalo, so... <laughs> isang lang, ha? Isang beses <laughs> silang, lang. <laughs> silang dalawa back-to-back, -back, so... Wow. <laughs> so, oh, oh, I mean, your your sister, your brother, and yourself really yeah. involved in the sport. Yeah. Oh. So, wala, wala kang choice sa bahay. Because <laughs> when did you guys win uh, uh, these medals? So, you, um, your sister? I... Tagal na eh, so... <laughs> <laughs> I, I got my gold medal in SEA Games, wow. 1991, uh, 91, I think 91, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, nine, no, 93, mm. 93 in Singapore. I got my silver, 91. Then 93, bumawi ako. Siguro kung may gulo sa bahay niyo. I, I, bawal gulo dun, bawal gulo. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are all, you know, from your dad and, and, and your siblings, all karate Bawal experts. gulo, isa lang wow, yung boss wow. dun, isa lang boss. Wow. And I guess, I mean, and we'll talk about later how karate can actually, you know, teach people how to control yes. aggression. Okay. Now, okay, let's talk about, um, interesting that you guys all won your brother, sister, back-to-back -back medalist, yeah. you gold medalist. And it's a sport that we Filipinos can excel in. Yes, because may weight categories. And then, and there's an event called kata, and you know how good Filipinos are at performing things, yeah. right? Like singing, dancing. dancing. I'm not saying that kata is like dancing, but it's an expression. Absolutely. It's an expression of, uh, kata literally means forms. Eh? So it's a simulation. It's parang, an art, absolutely. It, yeah, it's, it's, it's like art. You're, you're fighting with multiple opponents. Okay. That's what kata is. And it's, it's sometimes called the Bible of Karate. So all the different techniques are there. And so you showcase that, uh, for example, there's one kata we call unsu, and then you showcase techniques there, and there's, there's a jump, and there's everything, but it's not just doing the technique. Mm. It's not just doing the technique. It's showing the judges, there are judges, just like in gymnastics, there are judges there who will, who will watch your kata and decide if, do you really understand your kata? Do you know what the wow. meaning of that kata so is? It's a spiritual Yeah, they, you, they, they, they should it, feel huh? that even though you're, you're just doing the kata by yourself, there are no opponents there, they feel it. The judges feel that, you know, the bunkai. Bunkai mean, it, it means the meaning of the kata, yeah. like the application of the kata. And the basics are correct. So talagang, kaya we Filipinos really excel there because it's an expression of, of an art. You know, as a layperson, I, I never knew that Karate was had this dimension, even the kata. Yes. That, that you guys who are practitioners can can tell. Yes. You, you, you can see it. No? From, yes, of course. From uh, someone performing you, it or how do you? Yeah, you feel it. it. You feel it's just the same as okay. watching a, a a theater play. It's not real. Yeah. But you feel it when the, the when there's truth, and then when you're doing uh, the kata, you're also showing that truth by by knowing what it really means. So, I mean, do the Japanese, you know, this originated in Japan, right? yes. in Okinawa. Yes. Do they have an advantage? Do they dominate the sport? They have an advantage because they started it. <laughs> yeah, and yeah and it's, it's widespread. Yeah, there, no? it's widespread. so they've been doing it for like how many years now? And the so. sport has been, you know, uh, developed and yes. promoted in Japan. Obviously. And, and Suguro, we have to admit then, uh is signed for them. I mean, when you go there, the kids there are natural. They're, the movements, like, if they, you don't have to reconfigure like mm. for example here when i teach kids here mm. i have to reconfigure like like uh like uh yung leg power like mm. yung how they move their legs because in japan when you go to japan like when i when we train there kids walk everywhere ah, they just okay. walk 
Kids here don't walk. May tricycle eh. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> diba, titigil ng jeep kung saan nila gusto. Oh, But oh. there, they walk. Oh, yeah, Going yeah. to school, they walk. So, yung legs sila and they walk brisk. Yung brisk walking talaga, yeah. mabilis. Diba, nagmamadali sila. So, may mga ganong ugali na kailangan mong baguhin sa, sa mga bata dito. But in, in, in Japan, it's, it's natural for them. So, even, even doing the stances, the movement of the stances, like, like, like the forward stance or the Kiba Dutch, or the, what we call the horse riding stance, yeah. it's, it's a natural movement for them. They don't have to reconfigure or re ayusin yung bata na ito ang tamang stance. How, how popular is the sport in the Philippines? I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's growing yeah, in popularity, but how, how many practitioners do we have here? Uh, Serious I ones? I mean, like... Uh, I think madami. I, I, I really don't know mm. the numbers, but I think madami kasi ever since pa dati, when you say martial arts, tawag nila, oh, karate. Ayun, oh, yun. Oh, yun nga. Karate. Oh. Ngayon, marami na. Oh. Oh. Marami na. People are discovering uh, there's others. There's taekwondo na, oh. there's jiu-jitsu, there's ano, but... But still, the catch all is like karate, karate. pa rin lahat parang yun yung generic term eh, Gen diba? generic term oh. ang generic term ng martial arts oh karate o kakarate kakakaratihin kita oh, yeah. diba? ganun. so i think marami pa rin nagkakarate sa Pilipinas iba-ibang style lang oh ito tanong ko sa iyo uh, for people watching now what is the advantage of i mean i know, I know you're a practitioner but yeah. if, let's be objective what is the advantage of karate over other well i'll just art forms, say what i think forms. is nice about karate uh una una it's a japanese martial art and for me, as a person, as a, as a Filipino, for me, I really look up to the Japanese, how they, it's more of the discipline, Absolutely. it's Absolutely. more of the culture, it's more of how they bounce back after those earthquakes, after those bombings, it's how they bounce back, how Absolutely. they discipline themselves. I think that itself, karate being from Japan, for me, is a plus factor already. Mm. Next is, it's not just a sport. It's not just a sport. In Japan, everything is an art. So for me, plus yon. Even if you're not really that physically, I mean, you're not strong, you're not, you're not really that quick, you can still study karate. Mm. Because you can still benefit from the other part of it, the other side of it. And it's more holistic. Mm. Holistic talagang, it's, if it strikes, it's really punch and kick. It's a balance of punch and kick and throws. So, if, if that's what you want in a martial art, I think karate is for you. What about for self-defense? Is for it effective? Yeah, if it's, it's effective uh, from, first, from experience. Sure. Uh, but of course, self-defense is really presence of mind. Mm. And that's what you develop here. You mm. know when to fight and when to and run. When to run. I, uh, they always ask me, what yeah. do you do if somebody attacks you? There you go. If, 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 if there's a gun, if he's pointing a gun at you, give him your wallet. <laughs> Don't be a hero. <laughs> Don't be a... Yeah, right? No, absolutely, absolutely. For example, you're in a, in a dark alley. Absolutely. And you don't know how many Or even are. a knife. I mean, yeah, I know, yeah. You know, right? But if you can, I mean, if you're smaller than you, if, if you know, you, you sh that's what's nice about learning a martial art or karate, is you'll know your, your capacity. Mm. You know na kung kaya mo to, oops, di ko to kaya. Alam ko, di ko kaya to. Well, it makes you... Nagiging mas humble ka eh. Mm. Nagiging mm. humble ka kasi sa kaka-training mo, sa kaka-training mo, hirap na hirap ka sa pagod, alam mo yung kapasidad mo eh. Alam mo na, uy, teka lang, hindi ko kaya to. Sige, okay lang. Uh, ito na sir. Or, ah, ops, special mo. Op, walang tao, ako lang nandito. Mm -hmm. Pwede ko tong gawin. And it has a, that hierarchy, no? That you guys have like, this, this ranking system where you, I mean, it also teach you about respect. Yes. Right? Yes. It's just, that's what's nice about it, nga, di ba? Like I told you, like, you, you become humble. And the respect factor is not only respect na as in magalang ka, it's respecting everything. Respecting the situation, respecting, kunyari meron, like what you said, you're gonna, you have to defend yourself. You're respecting him na ito, kahit ganito to, kahit alam kong baka kaya ko, pwedeng hindi. So there's a sense of respect na magbibigay siya ng good decision. Yeah. yeah. A good decision to fight or just walk to away. Yeah, yeah, just, just walk, walk away. away. Yeah. Yun yung ganun. Yun yung ganun factor na makukuha mo yan sa hard training eh. Mm. Sa paulit-ulit. Kasi in karate, it's really repetition. It's really repetition. Because for example, I'm, I'm, I'm going to siguro papakita ko lang sa'yo. The basic punch in karate is... Ganyan eh. Yeah. Diba? You can yeah. see that. Oh, yeah, eh, no. Lahat ng mga Chinese oh. movies, lahat ng mga... All the time. Mahito mo, time. ganyan sila. Yeah. Bakit? Ba't sila ganun? Eh, magsunto ka naman ganun eh, diba? Mm. But kasi, uh, inaayos nila na, na, na yung, yung, yung the fastest way from one point to another point is through a straight line. And then eventually, you learn the other punches. Mm. Pero mm. repetition and repetition para mas maging instinctive sa'yo. 
Beautiful. Nice. So, you know, we have to uh, pause our break, yeah. but when we come back, I want to talk about actually that point exactly, yeah. the forms. Like, yeah. like, and, and also some critique of, critique of karate. People okay. are saying it's too much forms. Yeah. Uh, you know, so um, we'll talk about that. Plus, we're going to meet some parents who have uh, enrolled their kids yes. in AAK. And, yes. uh, and I, I understand they came back from Japan. Yes. With, uh, you know, Japan and Indonesia. In Indonesia with yeah. some uh, uh, victories. Yeah. yeah. Golds and silvers Bravo. and bronzes. Bravo. <laughs> so guys, stick around for Karate for Everyone when Philippines Uncut returns. Philippines.